So now let's learn about bond enthalpy and how using bond enthalpy, uh, enthalpy of a reaction can be calculated. Bond enthalpy is the measure of the stability of a molecule or I can define that it is the enthalpy change associated with breaking a particular bond in one mole of a gaseous molecule. On uh, delta H the bond enthalpy change is positive when bond is broken and it is negative when the bond is formed. And uh, for example, consider uh, the reaction hydrogen gas giving you H and H, that is the bond between H and H is broken and hence the change in energy in this case is 436.6 kilojoules per mole and uh, sign is positive because the bond is broken. Same way the reaction is reversed when uh, hydrogen plus hydrogen H and H combines to give you H2. The value is the same but the sign becomes negative now because in this case a bond is formed or we can even say that uh, energy is absorbed when a bond is broken and energy is released when a bond is formed. Enthalpy of a reaction in the gas phase. So let's see how we will use bond energy to calculate the enthalpy of the reaction. So in case of bond, enthal uh, bond en uh, enthalpy, the enthalpy of a reaction is some sum of all the bond energy of the reactants and minus sum of bond energy of the products. Notice that in the previous case we did always did product minus reactants. So in this case the bond energy reactant minus bond energy product. Okay, and then uh, what do you mean by that? Is delta H zero equals total energy to break the bonds minus total energy released when a bond is formed. Okay, apply this to an example. Consider the example of hydrogen uh, combining with oxygen to give you water. So the number of bonds broken, H and H bond is broken and uh, the O double bond O, half of it is broken. So we write the energy, it doesn't mean that the whole bond is broken but the energy we use it only half of the energy and the bonds formed is, I get two H O bonds. So sub finding the values for all these uh, energies, substitute them and I can get the delta H0 for the reaction. Okay, uh, using bond enthalpy, calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction given over there, C3H6 plus hydrogen giving you C3H8. So first thing we should know the structure for C3H6, draw the Lewis structure for C3H6 and uh, it looks as I have shown there. Then hydrogen is a single bond between the H and the H and then these two combine to give you C3H8 and when I draw the Lewis, draw the Lewis structure for C3H8 it looks like that. Now we need to find out what are the bonds that are broken. The bonds broken in this case is one carbon carbon double bond is broken and one hydrogen hydrogen single bond is broken and none of the other bonds we break. So let's see the heat for delta H for each one of them. Carbon carbon double bond is one bond times 620 that is 620 kilojoules per mole. And the energy for the hydrogen bond is 436.4 and the total en uh, enthalpy change in the reaction side is 1056.4 kilojoules per mole. Now let's go to the product side and what are the bonds formed? Looking at the structure you can see that uh, I get a new a single carbon carbon bond and I do get two hydrogen bonds added also. The two CHs also form and uh, delta H for the product side for the one carbon bond uh, 347 and two carbon hydrogen bond it is two times 414 and uh, adding up the enthalpy change on the product side I get 1175. And uh, the enthalpy of the total reaction will be, as we have written earlier, reactant minus product. And that comes as negative 118.6 kilojoules per mole. One more question. Using the bond enthalpy, calculate the enthalpy change for C3H4 uh, combining with chlorine to give you C3H4Cl4. So as uh, uh, before, write down the Lewis structure 
or C3H4 and you notice there is a triple bond between carbon and carbon and chlorine and chlorine there is a single bond and then this when reacts to give you C3H4Cl4 and I, when I write the structure you see that all of them are single bonds. Now let's see what are the bonds that is broken. In case of the reactant we break the C triple bond C bond and uh, CLCL bond is also broken, two of the CLCL bond is broken and therefore if we write the delta H the bond energies for them the for triple bond is 812 and CLCL single bond it will be 2 times 242.7 and I get 485.4 add up the two get the delta H for the reactant and that's 1297.4 now let's see the bonds form so the number of bonds that is formed is I get a one carbon carbon single bond and then I also get four carbon chlorine single bond and uh, writing the enthalpy change for all of them uh, I get 347 for the carbon carbon single bond and for the carbon chlorine single bond it is 4 times 339 so calculate the delta H of the product so we use the formula delta H of the reaction is pra reactant minus product and that comes as negative 406 kilojoules per mole calculate heat of combustion of butane using bond enthalpy so the butane the structure of Lewis structure of butane is given over there combines with oxygen and we know that there is a oxygen oxygen double bond and this these two when combined together I get carbon dioxide and write down the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide and you know that carbon has got two double bonds uh, with oxygen and then this the other product formed is water and write down the structure of water HOH. Now let us find out what are the bonds that is broken and uh, if you count the number of bonds that is broken in this case I three carbon carbon bonds are broken and count the hydrogens I have 10 carbon hydrogen bonds are broken and from oxygen I break one um, oxygen double bond O and uh, if you look at the balanced equation it is uh, 3 times 347 for carbon carbon but in case of uh, carbon and hydrogen also it is the same thing 10 times 440 but for oxygen it is 13 over divided by 2 times 498 and get the delta H for the reaction. Now the bonds form this I get uh, only if you consider carbon dioxide I get 2 carbon uh, double bond O formed and uh, 2 OH formed. So from the balanced equation let us calculate the delta H and I have 4 carbon dioxide form therefore that will be 2 times 4 times 799 and uh, in case of water also 5 molecules of water are formed and accordingly calculate the delta H of the product. Now the delta H of the reaction we know is reactant minus product and that comes as 2569.5 kilojoules per mole. The heat of combustion of butane uh, can also be calculated from the heat of formation values. So, if you any tau, you can if you know the heat of formation of carbon dioxide, water, butane, and heat of formation of oxygen will be zero. Uh, using the delta H equals in that case the formula we use is product minus reactant. The value will be the same. Whatever way you calculate, the value will not change.